a big old region. Black flies, they're swarming. We're gonna let Monty swim for a minute here. Oh, here we go. First time canoe camping. Well, I guess I canoe camped already, but this is true canoe camping. Hey, Monty, come on. Good boy. Good boy. It's a little, yeah, it's a little warm. Oh. Monty, we're canoe camping again. Plane's flying pretty close. Good boy, Monty. I'm just gonna let him swim and cool off for a minute. He's not gonna go crazy far. That is a low flying plane. Good boy, Monty. Man, these black flies. Whoo! Hoo wee! joyous day see it's nice to be out on the lake so hey guys I am out here with Monty and uh, we're doing a spring canoe camp and camping fish I am so happy right now yeah good boy Monty I'm so happy right now to be out <laughs> in my boat with just mr. Monty here it's a good boy and uh, yeah, it's warm. The black flies are a little bad, but you know what that means? Good fishing. So we're gonna do some fishing. We're gonna spend the night out here and I'm gonna have a fish dinner. I did not bring any food other than some potatoes, uh, onions and garlic, and some snack bars, oatmeal. And uh, I'm forcing myself to catch fish for dinner. And Monty's gonna have some fish too. He's got a sweet potato black flies but uh we're gonna have a fish dinner so um basically I need to catch a fish no matter what and I'm pretty confident I'm gonna catch one I'm very confident it's it's feeling good the only things I can keep right now are trout and panfish but uh I'm feeling pretty good we're gonna so what we're gonna do is this lake we're on right now we're gonna fish it after Monty's done swimming I'm gonna get him in the boat and then we're gonna do some fishing and hopefully I'll catch some panfish here. I know there's no trout on this lake, but uh, there's definitely panfish. So we're gonna do a lot of fishing today and then we're gonna cook up a delicious dinner and spend the night and it's gonna be fun. So I'm gonna get him, we're gonna get back to shore now and get him in the boat and then we're gonna do some fishing. Oh yeah, I'm so happy right now. Armand, you ready to get back to shore? His name is Monty Phelps, a dog in the wilderness swimming across a lake. Monty, such a good boy. Oh, good boy. Come here, Monty. That's a good boy. You gotta drip dry your Monty. There we go. There we go. Drip dry him. Okay. The water is way warmer than I expected it to be, to be honest with you. It is, it feels really warm. That should be good for fishing. The black flies are nasty too, and that's good for fishing. 
but that's why we're in a canoe. And we're gonna spend most of the day on the boat until nighttime. So basically the plan right now, let's get, let's get away from these bugs out into the wind a little bit. So basically the plan right now is to fish, like I said. We're gonna fish for a couple hours. It is four o'clock. <laughs> I did not get out here as early as I wanted to. And that's, it is what it is. You know, Monty, um, I, I'm a pretty bad procrastinator. So I was, I got up and I was, or last night I was like, I won't pack today. I'll get up tomorrow and pack. No problem. So yeah, it took me a lot longer than I expected that it was a drive out here. So like I said, we're gonna fish. We're just gonna fish in this lake and then we're gonna move on to the other lake. We're gonna set up camp and then we're gonna fish the evening there. So mostly fishing and camping today. Mostly just fishing. But the wind is pretty strong. So we're going down to that shore to get out of the wind. I might cast a little bit along the way, but for now we're just going down to that shore. Get out of this wind. All right, I cannot not cast a couple times along the way. It's all dead down trees on the edges. The water level's high. Your Monty's thirsty. Oh, oh the wind. <laughs> oh, she's blowing. <laughs> all right, we gotta keep moving. It's hard to fish in this canoe in the wind. This is gonna be a good test for the spring. I haven't used this GoPro a ton, you know, canoe camping. Uh, so it'll be a good test for it to see how it handles the wind. You know, cause it's windy today. And my plan is to use the GoPro a lot in the boat because I don't want to have my nice camera dangling around. This thing clips on and I can keep it safe. You know, my other camera, if it topples over or something, you know, that's the end of it. I could, I'll probably figure out some way of rigging it, but it's also not waterproof. This thing's fully waterproof. So even if I flip my canoe with this camera, oh, there's a snag, first snag. Even if I flip my canoe with this camera, it's most likely gonna stay attached and I don't have to worry about it. So we'll see how it fares in the wind. GoPros are not that great for sound most of the time. This one's not so bad. But we need to catch a fish. You know, right now I'm fishing, I'm bass fishing right now. I don't, I, I'm not fishing for uh, panfish. I'm just fishing the shallow for bass. I'd like to just catch one or two along the way. You know, cause I think the fishing's gonna be great. It'll be even better in a few weeks when the mosquitoes come out and it gets really nasty and the water gets way warmer but it should be good right now. It should definitely be good right now. We just gotta find them. You guys are get, about to get very acquainted with me in my canoe. Fishing in my canoe, talking in my canoe, paddling. I wanna live in this thing for the next like five months. Or is that how many months it is? No, yeah, maybe five months. Yeah, maybe six, I don't know. Good long season. And hopefully there are many fish to be caught. It's warm, man. It is so warm. <gasps> We're gonna go to a spot that I'm fairly certain will catch some fish. That's right, I guess a, little, a little secret spot I go for panfish. This is, a, this is a spot you're gonna see me camp at a decent amount. This is probably my favorite spot in the world. And I'm not gonna say where it's at, just because. And if you happen to know, or somebody that knows, keep it yourself, please, for my sake. <laughs> uh, you know, everyone's gotta have their little secret spots. Their little secrets. But, you know. That's how it is. A little minnow popped out of the water or something. Must have scared the poop out of it. Scared the poop out of it. You know, I'm surprised I'm not having any bites yet. Genuinely surprised.
Oh, geez, wind's picking up. Ah! Oh. <laughs> That's a nice tree. Oh, I saw that. Ah, I got that one. Ha ha ha. I love when you can get a snag off and not have to go in. Those are my favorites. Favorite types of snags to get. The no hassle snags. No hassle snags. Come on. Where's the fish? You're really going to make me go all the way to the shore without the wind before I catch a fish, huh? That's what you're going to do. Oh. The wind is strong! Yeah, when I was out in Montana, I wasn't very confident about catching fish, but I am fully confident here. This is, this is my home turf. And they're just being stubborn right now. Poop! Snags in the wind. Oh, here comes a gust. Like I was saying earlier, and you'll hear me talk about this probably, probably pretty often, but fishing in the wind in a canoe, not the best, not the most fun thing. That's generally why I just go straight to out of the wind. I don't want to bring an anchor when I'm portaging. There's not much that's gonna frustrate me today though. I mean, I am just like, you know, there's, this is the cap for excitement and here's rock bottom. I'm up here with excitement right now. Just being out with Monty, out in the wind, the sun, it's warm and snag after snag. You can do it! Nope, can't. Besides camping with Funk and Ruger and the whole gang, me and Monty, that's my favorite, being out with Funk and Rugs and Monty. It's my favorite camping. And then second to that is me by myself. And it's almost a close tie because being out by myself, I was mentioning to someone in the comments, you just get to go at your pace. You know, I go at my pace. I do what I want. I want to change up my plans. That's up to me. I get to do that. I brought out my map to go over my, my big spring trip. So we're going to take a look at that. That'll be exciting. I just, I, I looked at it a little bit and I just, I can't decide what I want to do. I'm going to, I got a week to go. So I'm going to do seven nights, I believe. And, uh, yeah, I just don't know where I want to go. You can cover a lot of ground in seven nights. You can cover a lot of ground. Okay, we've reached the northern end of the lake. Or maybe it's the southern end. Southern end of the lake. The wind's blowing south today. So, we are out of the wind for right now. So hopefully, we'll have a better chance. We will at least won't blow around as much. But the black flies will come after us. There we go. There we go. There we go. What are we here? Is it a pike or a bass? Oh, it's a pike. I don't have a steel eater on. I'd be gentle. Oh, oh, oh. Ah. Come on. There we go. It's a decent. Ooh. Ooh. And he got right off. 
There we go. First fish of the day and the trip. I knew I was going to catch fish. Oh, he's got some Nixon things on him. Uh oh, sure. Get out of here. There we go. First fish of this trip. Let you go. First fish check. Oh, oh, oh. Ah. So yeah, I, I have this net right here. This is my favorite net pretty much ever. Like, I think it's perfect size, I think it's perfect. No, it's not compact or anything, but I think it's perfect. I got I got given a net by a subscriber. It was one of those foldable ones, and that's nice. But it's got the the small cloth uh, netting, and I cannot stand that. I'm sorry, but like <laughs> this stuff, you can get hooks out of this so easily. When you get a little treble hook caught in one of those uh, cloth nets, it's, <laughs> you have to cut the net. I mean, you can sit there and dink around for a long time, but I get frustrated. So I already put like two or three holes in it, <laughs> and now, now I can't use it because, you know, that happened. But it is what it is. You know, I used it, I gave it a try. I like that it's it folds and it's compact and everything, but I do not like the netting. Maybe if I could find some different netting, I could uh, put it on there. As long as it's that kind, that kind of netting, it's like that nylon stuff. Oh, there we go. I saw that one take it. I saw that bass grab that. Oh yeah. Oh. I, I watched. Oh. Wee. Got got water in my hair. There we go. That's a decent sized bass. Would definitely eat this guy up if it were the season. All right. Fishing's good so far. <laughs> yeah. Let's get. Oh, oh, it's okay, Mr. Largemouth Bass. I'm getting you out of here. Is his fin? Oh, look at that. It's like deformed. Look at that. His fin is all messed up. There we go. Nice bass. about that Monty he's gone he lives down there isn't that crazy well you, you like you like fish you like fish slime you're weirdo all right ladies and gentlemen we are fishing <laughs> oh I'm having a blast right now I love when you go ah oh. just having so much fun I'm having so much fun I love when you can see the bass or the fish swimming up to your lure and you just let it slow down for just a little bit and they go BAM! But uh... So what I was gonna say is uh... when you see me fishing generally when I'm casting I'm using this little guy right here this is my go-to all-round catch everything lure and it is bent right now I just bent it when I took it out of that fish's mouth. Anyways, that is my lure of choice. If I had to choose one lure for all of time, it would be that. You can catch everything on this lure. Everything. Pike, I've caught, you know, bluegill, jumbo perch, crappie, pike, bass, walleye, trout, lake trout. I've caught salmon, coho salmon. Um, I don't know if I've caught steelhead with it. I'm sure you could. I don't see why you couldn't. But it's my favorite. And they're cheap. It's cheap. And you can buy, you know, like you, you lose it, you snap a line. It's no big deal. You do that with like a $10 Rapala, you're a little more upset. <laughs> you're definitely more upset. 
These are not a big deal to lose them. But I, I like white on white. I don't mess around with too many colors. I just stick to white. And in my experience, white works great. I never struggle to catch fish. If the conditions are good. I've had, there's days where, you know, it's just the winds blast and it's a cold front and I'll still catch them, but it's a little bit more of a struggle. Yeah, like I was thinking, out of the wind, into the bugs. I mean, it only makes sense, right? But we're not, right now we're just, we're just fishing for fun. Pishing, fi pishing, we're pishing. We're pishing our way out of time. <laughs> we're just fishing for the sake of pure enjoyment right now. Uh, we're not fishing to keep because, I mean, I could snag into a bluegill. I don't think they're here. Those guys are going to be in some shallow muckiness. This is like down logs and uh, sand. I know where some bluegill will be. But what I'd really like to catch is some trout tonight. The thing about the trout, though, is uh, if it's windy like this, it's breezy. It's going to be a lot harder. Ideally, what I'd like to happen is the uh, wind to die down and the bugs to get really bad across the water. And then they'll just start surfacing like crazy. And then we will catch some trout. I can guarantee you we'll get bites if it's calm like that. Not guarantee, but you know, pretty much guarantee. I'm pretty confident they'll be biting regardless. It's early. I don't think I'm gonna have to wait till dark to fish them. Come on, fishes. Ooh, the wind calmed down. You gotta bite now. You gotta bite now. <laughs> Call that one. Whoa. That's a decent sized bass right there. It's a decent, decent guy. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I ain't gonna yank you out. Oh, he's uh he's a feisty guy. Oh he's barely hooked. He's he's barely hooked. Come on, easing you up. Oh, missed. Missed, easing you up. Boom! Oh that's a piggy. That's a piggy of a bass. Oh yeah, look at that thing. Boom. <laughs> That's a good one right there. Oh yeah. Big old bass. Should we let him go with the action cam again? Right, Monty? Monty, do you like bass? Do you like bass? You like big bass? something I just love about uh, watching the bass swim away when I'm watching my footage later like it's like a personal thing I just love it I think it looks really cool seeing them swim away letting them know I'm letting them go letting them grow that was a big bass though that was, that was a feisty guy he definitely pulled out some drag I've got to re readjust my lure my little my little rig here you can you can use these these worms for quite a ways before you need to get a new one. They can get pretty torn up. Yeah. Sometimes like if the if the top gets too torn up, I'll just bite it off and just make a shorter one and it, it works fine. The fish don't care too much. Now I know that like when you're targeting pike and stuff, generally you're not gonna catch monster pike using a little uh, eighth ounce jig like this but I caught a monster 36 inch pike on one of these guys in springtime so there's hope you just got to find the right hungry pike and the black flies are coming in to ruin the day the black flies yes black flies oh oh get out of here Shoe fly, don't bother me. 
Just don't bite. You can swarm, you can fly around my face, just don't do the biting thing. Please. Ah! This makes you want to get to the wind. My recent videos of me fishing and stuff, <laughs> it makes me look like I have no idea what I'm doing. And, uh, I love fishing. I'm pretty, I like to say I'm decent at it. You know? I'm decent. Come on, I can't turn the boat one-handed. I don't know why I don't just use two. But anyways, I like to say I'm decent. So, when you see me not catching a fish, I gotta make a video like this where I'm, I'm slamming them. You know, it's only been three, and we've only been fishing for, I don't know, 20 minutes or so? Hasn't been too long. You know, kudos to anybody that the bugs just bother them 0%. I mean, they don't... I, I can handle them better than the average Joe, I would say. But... They can still get to me. I don't let them ruin my, uh my time <laughs> just last week's video they didn't ruin my time they foiled my plans ruining my time would have meant going home but I no way was I going home you know I was still gonna camp I just wasn't gonna build a shelter all right we've got to go down a narrow mucky channel to get to another lake it's kind of a portage kind of not depending on how how the water is this year and it's pretty high so I might not need to uh, portage much at all but let's get there and I'm gonna go for some panfish Ooh, we've, it's pretty deep this year Hey, buddy. The wind is being really unreasonable right now. I really hope it slows down later. But we're going to switch to ultralight. We're going to use the same lure, just the mini version. A little 16th of an ouncer. We're going to try shallow first. I'm sure they'll be shallow, but the wind is just swirling. And I'm like right next to shore, and it's just being completely unreasonable. It's right wind. You are being unreasonable. I don't like it. I can't escape it. And I've gone to the where the wind's blowing from, the south end, the south shore. And the wind's supposed to be blowing from the south. And it's just ending up swirling. That's not fun. Hey, there's a beaver dam. Beaver, beaver hole, not a beaver dam. We need to we need to get into some uh, some gillage. We need to find us some bluegills. I'll still catch bass and stuff on this thing, but uh, that's not our target. I've caught pike on this little thing too. It just blows my mind when a pike bites this teeny little jig. Uh, it cracks me up. Why, black flies, why? 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 Oh, sorry, Monty. It didn't work, they're just looking at it. <laughs> no. This won't do. Oh, there's a bass. Hey, look at that. That bass is he's scared. 
He doesn't want anything to do with my my fake looking food. Oh, he's swimming around it. He's a little intrigued. A little party you can't resist. Oh no, that's a pike. Oh, that's a big pike. <laughs> There's a big pike just drifting around. Looks like he's almost going after that bass. That would have been a tough meal for him. I had to shed the shirt, it's too warm. It's too warm and I want some sun. And I wanted a few more bug bites. That's what I, that's what I really wanted, was the bug bites. So if we don't hook into some bluegill, we're in trouble. We are in some trouble. Because I did not want to rely on trout. I want to catch trout. That's for sure. Do I want to rely on trout? I don't know. I do not know. Uh-oh. How is the wind coming from this direction now? How can you do this to me, wind? You said, you said south. Oh, he slammed that as soon as that hit the water. Oh, yeah, that bass just nailed that. It's the only problem with an ultralight uh, in all these sticks. Is I do not want them to get wrapped around, so I gotta kind of ream on them a little bit. There we go. Oh, we're still catching bass. <laughs> Ooh, nice size bass. This is not what we're after, but I'm not gonna complain. Get you out of there. He's got a teeny little jig. Let's uh let's do it. Let's do a release action cam. It stings. It stings needing a fish for dinner and having to let these beautiful bass go. It hurts the soul. All I need is one of those, and we, me and Monty would have a feast. Oh. Oh, they're biting. Come on. Get hooked. I just need you to get hooked now. Come on. Rot row. Rot row. Now the wind's blowing from over there. What's going on, wind? Make up your mind. Ooh, there's a big old bass. He was looking at that thing. He was interested. But he decided against it. Oh, and there is a bass. Oh! <laughs> he got away. <laughs> Oh, there's another big bass. There's a school of them right here. Oh, there's another big bass. Let's see if I can get this one. Oh, there's like four bass. Got that one. Oh, he snapped my line. No. The drag wasn't good enough, I guess. Dang. Dang it, bass. Oh, he, oh, the line, the, the knot, it didn't come undone, but it broke. It must've just been weakened. Dang. Well, that'll happen from time to time, I guess. I haven't really had that happen much where the knot 
busted. Oh well. The knot didn't come undone. I'll say it again. It just busted. I need to catch some gills here. Come on, bluegills. The bass are easy. The bluegills are what I want. Where are you, bluegills? Where is your appetite? What is going on? What's going on here? What's, what's the business? Mm-hmm. Monty, you want you want to get out? You can get out if you want. You're gonna struggle following me though. Oh man, I just had a big old bass on with my ultralight and he swam around a log and I blew it when I was blowing into the wind. And I got lucky that he didn't snap it. All right, so we are heading we are heading back over to the spot that was a little bit less in the wind where I was seeing the, the gills, and we're gonna try. It. I would really like to keep five, ideally, and then uh, maybe a trout later, and we'll have a whole bunch of fish, nice big fish dinner. And if they were big panfish, then I wouldn't need to keep five. But it's looking like. They weren't monstrous, but I do really want to fish dinner, so we're going back over there. And camp's not going to take me long to set up. I'm not having a fire tonight. Uh, I'm not sure if there is a fire ban or not, but it's super dry out, and it's just not very smart to have a fire. So I'm not having a fire. I'm just going to cook over the stove, run out the stove, so camp won't take me long. I'm just going to, I might even just throw up my bag. I don't even need to set up camp if I don't want to. Like I said, this is more about fishing. I'm loving fishing, so I'll stay out and it'll take, it, you know, it'll take me ten, five minutes to set up the tent. But I'm gonna put a little bit more effort in trying these panfish and we'll see. This wind is being very upsetting. You know, it's blowing this way, or it, it was blowing this way north and then I come here and it's blowing this way so I, you know I get a second and then I start going this way and it was blowing this or uh it was blowing what way was it blowing it was blowing this way then they go down there and it's blowing this way and now I'm coming back here and it's blowing this way and it's you know way blow blowing it's unreasonable what I'm trying to say is I don't like it I don't like it one bit I'll take the black flies for right now. Just give them to me. Just give me like a half hour of calm fishing so I can just kept, keep a couple panties. Keep a couple panties. Not panties, panties. I need you. Well, you should use worms. Why don't you just use some worms? Well, I didn't bring worms. So. I can't, you know, I don't got worms, and I could go find worms, but I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. I don't got a bob around me, I don't think. This normally would work fine, 
They're just being fussy. Fussy. So, I better hope, Monty better hope I catch some trout. Well, Monty doesn't. Yeah, he, he deserves fish, but he's got he's got dog food. Me, on the other hand, I'm just gonna have potatoes tonight and snacks. <laughs> if I don't catch a fish, I just hope this wind dies down so the trout fishing's really good. Otherwise, uh oh, <laughs> uh, that's funny. I can't see how deep it is or shallow. Pretty shallow. Now I can see. There we go. <laughs> Alright, this is not a very big bluegill. It's pretty small. But I cannot be choosy. I have got to have a fish dinner tonight. And, uh, you know, there's no size of the bluegills. I would normally never keep them this size. But that is my first one of the day have all day to fish so that's gonna be some protein and I'm gonna keep it and I'm gonna try to keep catch five of these but I want a fish dinner I don't want to just eat potatoes so there we go not a big one almost I'm almost ashamed to keep this little this little bluegill but it's it's food, right? It's food. Ooh. That's gotta be a bass. <laughs> yeah, that's a bass. He definitely went for the surface for that one. Well, there's, so you can see them. Look at those. Oh, they're all over in here. Once I get this bass off. Don't go scare away my little fish. What is that, Monty? What is that? I can't yank him out of the water with this little four pound test. Oh, that's a bass right there. Now that is a bass. Look at that thing. Whoa. I think that's the biggest one so far. That is a monster of a bass. Oh yeah. Piggy. Piggy bass. Alright, time to let you go. Oh, Alright, I need to catch some bluegills, come on! Oh, they're getting me. Oh, see, there's one surfacing right there. See if I can get him. Come on. What are you doing? It's weird that they're like, their fins are out of the water and they're just not biting when you hit the water near them. Ha ha, that's two. Another big old piggy bass. It's not that big. Just a decent average bass. Oh. Alright, bye bye. These uh whew, these black flies are getting me. And I've only got the two little fish. Oh. <laughs> Why? Dang it. I keep catching bass. <laughs> uh. Oh, come here. Come here. Bass after bass and all. <laughs> For the first time, I'm catching bass when I don't want to be catching bass anymore. And now I've got to poop all of a sudden. i got to poop. Oh, all right. Me and Monty need to get on shore. I need to poop. It's starting to come on strong. Oh. 
<sighs> Nothing makes pooping more uncomfortable than getting eaten alive by bugs. <sighs> They're just. The, the, it's calming down a lot. It's calmed down a good amount, which is great for fishing. But it is letting these. I mean, look at this. We are just getting swarmed, and they are biting. They are biting me, and Monty. He's he's a little uncomfortable, so I'm busting out the beef jerky to give him some. But, uh, yeah, spring. <laughs> I just don't like when they get in my ears. You know? I don't like the ears. They fly around my face, whatever. Crawl in my body and on my arms and everything. So when they go in my ears, it's the worst. Drives me nuts. And I'd put on my bug net right now, but... It's not bug. It's not bug net time. I, bug nets, like yeah. It's just I don't want to do it out in the water. You know. All right, we're not going to try too much longer for these uh, bluegills because I want to get back out of the bigger, bigger lake and escape these things. They, uh, we got quite the cloud coming after us. Going to take a poop. They're vicious. All right, just about two more minutes of fishing in these bugs, and then we need to go paddle in. Actually, you know what? I'm keeping this up. I don't care how goofy I look. I do not care what I look like. I don't care. What I do care about is these bugs crawling in my ears. Nothing lets you know spring is here like getting swarmed with bugs. 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 Nice tasty bugs. <laughs> Alright Monty. Let's go into the wind a little bit. We need to get out of here. Full speed ahead. We need to lose some bugs. <gasps> <sighs> Technically, as things stand right now, me and Monty could both have a fish dinner. You know, one small bluegill each, teeny tiny, teeny little spoonful of meat. But uh, I'd like some more. And uh, these black flies, <sighs> these black flies. Oh, there we go. Come on, wind. Come on, get me. Oh man, those the now I'm happy to be in the wind. Those bugs are just driving me nuts. Oh, whew. feels good to be over on this side. It is going to be interesting tonight, trout fishing. I can tell you that much. Uh, I know for a fact that these bugs are going to be going crazy. So uh, that'll be you know that makes the fishing good, but uh, it'll be something. We're only gonna try for a little bit more, and then we are gonna get back and get out of here and get to the other lake. Probably should get out my bug net is what I should do. Oh, there we go. That's a good one. That's a good gill. There we go. There we go. That's better. That's better. Now, now if I can get a few more of these, two more, I mean, if I, if I'll trade them out if I get bigger ones, but we'll see. Let's keep trying. I've got a little bit more. Yes. Ooh. Ooh, what is this? Please be a gill. Oh, it's a bass. Dang it. We got three bluegills 
we didn't get any more and it is getting a little late so we need to get moving to the other lake and then we got a portage and we need to get to a spot kind of figure out where we're going to camp but i want to start fishing for trout the wind's calming down a little bit it's not crazy but i want to start fishing for trout we didn't get as many bluegills as i wanted but it'll be okay There's a big, big down tree in the portage. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, just getting eaten alive. I might need to bust out the bug net. Hmm. They are getting me and Mr. Monty here. We just need to find a spot to camp now. I think we're gonna try that shore maybe. It doesn't really matter. We just need a spot to set up the tent. Black flies are, they're, they're out. <laughs> they are out. And we've got two hours till the sun sets, so that gives us plenty of time to fish for trout. Now I'm hoping to get a trout or two. We'll see. We'll see. But it's still a little breezy, but it's very, it's calmed down a lot. So I'm, I have high hopes that we're going to have a good evening of fishing. Now. One thing I'm going to say, and I'm going to tell you right now, is once I'm out here fishing for these trout, I'm not going to be talking like this. Uh, it's going to get still, calm, quiet at night. You'll be able to hear for miles in the woods. So if I talk like this, those fish are going to hear me easily, those trout. They're, they spook easier than other fish, I think. So, oh, one just surfaced. I just saw one surface over there. That's a good sign. I think tonight's going to be a good night. I think we're getting a trout. I think we're getting a trout. Worst case scenario, I'm going to troll for them. I've got my lures that I know I can catch trout on, and I will just troll. And if I do that, I'm sure I'll catch them, but it's always more fun to cast, so we got to try casting. Oh, I'm just going to enjoy the breeze for a minute before we get mauled by black flies again. Bring my bag up into the woods here. Yes, Oh, wet crocs. Not the best. <laughs> Steep hills. Oh, yeah. It's nice and open up here. Yeah. Hey, right, Monty. Yeah, it's nice up here. We're gonna go it's swampy down there so we're gonna go off over this way a little bit okay this is gonna be our spot right Monty hey Monty we've got our spot now we need to get out the DSLR so we can record a little bit on that Let me tell you, the black flies are getting us. All right, I'm gonna get all my junk out. There's my bug net. I'm probably gonna be using that a little bit. <laughs> I won't deny it. If they're if they're eating me alive when I'm out in the lake, I'm definitely gonna use that bug net. Yeah. They're getting me too, pal. Don't worry, I'm gonna set up the tent, throw the stuff inside, and we're gonna get back out on that lake. Mm. 
No, dude, this isn't for you to land. Hey, no. Hey, no. Yeah, you can see there's just dead leaves everywhere, and it's just super dry out. So I'm not going to be having a fire. You know, that's, that's dangerous territory. And I don't really need one. It would be, if I had a fire, it would be 100% to smoke out these bugs and some comfort, which, let's be honest right now, it doesn't seem like a bad idea. But, uh... Come nighttime, they'll go away. They'll go away. I hope. I sure hope. Cause they're they're getting us. Bugs. 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 Get all in that water. All right, we're fleeing. Viva, lost bug net. Oh, it feels so much better. <laughs> oh, I don't even care how stupid I look right now. It's gonna be hard to see a fisher jumping, but it is complete glass right now. Look at this. So we're just gonna keep our bug net on, and I'm gonna put a spinner on the old ultralight. And we're gonna try for some fish. Let's see. Maybe I'll try that one to start. I just got about 10 bites when I was uh, putting line on, or the, the spinner on that, so I'm just done with getting bit in the arms. We're going to leave my legs a little exposed for a little bit longer because it's, it's pretty warm still. I don't want to wear this long sleeve but I also don't want to get eaten alive. But they are biting. <laughs> How cool do I look with this, uh, with this bug net on? See, we gotta keep our Monty happy. And our Matthew, I guess. Wow. He needs treats. First cast. Okay, that's a good sign. Ooh. They go crazy. All right. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. They're jumping like crazy across the whole lake now. Whoa. Oh, 
They go nuts. They don't like being caught. That's a pretty one. Look at that one. All right, goodbye. All right, goodbye. I didn't mean for you to get off, I just wanted a quick picture. All I wanted was a picture with them. There we go. Nice. Ooh, this one feels a little better than the other ones. Ooh, this one feels pretty nice. Oh, that's a pretty fish. Oh, that is a gorgeous fish. Oh, man. <laughs> that's a pretty one. Look at that fish. All right, this is the one I'm keeping. That's a keeper right there. That's the fish I'm keeping. I've been letting them go. But that's the one. You're not going anywhere, pal. Sorry. Look at that beauty. Look at that thing. Just beautiful colors. That's like a 16 inch brook trout. Oh, this is going to be so tasty. <laughs> this is going to be so delicious. And just what a beautiful fish. Look at that thing. Oh, what a gorgeous fish. Oh, this is going to be so good. <laughs> You're not going anywhere. This isn't Larry the Lake Trout here. This thing's going nowhere. I'm only keeping one trout. No sense in taking two. It's almost a shame to eat them. Sorry, dude, you are not. You are on death row, sorry. There we go. We've got three, we've got three uh, panfish and a trout. I'm gonna eat the trout and maybe some of the panfish and Monty's gonna eat a couple panfish. But now we're, let's just fish for fun now. Now that we've secured dinner. <laughs> oh, that's gonna be so good. Gah, that was the fish I was waiting for. All right, let's have some fun. I haven't even been fishing for 15 minutes. I caught a few fish already. That was the best one so far. Ooh. There we go. Ooh. Another trout. Ooh. All right, I gotta put the net back on. Look at all them. I bump the boat and they just go nuts. They jump all over the lake. Goodbye. Just heard an owl. Yes. That's right where I'm camping. Oh man. I hope they go nuts tonight. We could be in for a beautiful evening of noise. Those owls literally sound like they are, or that owl sounds like it's at my campsite right now, where I'm camping, which would be super cool. I will not complain about that one bit. And I got another fish. Whoa, 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 whoa. Calm down, calm down, calm down, calm down. Look at that fish. Look at that fish. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, that was so much fun. 
I wonder if you can even see my face through the, uh, the, uh, oh, and almost just had another fish. Kill me. Another beautiful fish right there. We're just going to grab this. Goodbye. Have a nice day. Have a nice day. I don't even know how many trout I caught, but it's been a decent amount. I just don't get sick of catching fish. <laughs> That's one thing you could, uh, Jake and Punk could confirm for you guys, is that uh, when I start catching fish, uh, you guys know that too. I, I can't, I can't stop. I just can't stop myself. It's just a, it's an enjoyable thing for me, especially when you, you know, you come out here at this buggy time of year. This is, this is why I'm out here, to fish, to fish it hard. I've caught a lot of fish today. This is definitely the best fishing I've done so, all year so far, guaranteed, hands down. No, I know you guys like the channel, you like me and everything. But I mean, look at this dog. This dog is just chilling in my canoe, enjoying himself outside, and he does not mind. He minds, like, when, he, when we're just sitting around at, like, a portage or something, and he wants to get moving, he will cry. But he never cries in the back of my boat, ever. Because he knows. He, he loves the boat. He knows that when I'm fishing that he gets the fish. And he just chills. He's such a good dog. Oh, man. I'm excited for dinner tonight. It's going to be so good. We're having uh, potatoes, onions, garlic with butter and salt and pepper, or not, not salt and pepper. We're actually having uh, Montreal tonight. And we're gonna cook it up with some butter, yeah, and it'll be delicious. And then I'm having that trout with butter and lemon in Montreal. It's gonna be so good. And uh, I'm pretty excited about it. It's gonna be pretty delicious to eat that beautiful fish. And then, uh, you know, but I'm excited for it. I'm getting pretty hungry, you know. <laughs> uh, 
Monty, you ready to go back? Ready to go back to shore? All right, let's go back to shore. That's a good boy. You're such a good boy. Let's go back to shore, buddy. They're getting you. They're getting you. The black flies aren't really dying down at all. It's starting to get dark. So that's good. It's a good sign, right? <laughs> Monty's getting bit up. I'm getting bit up. And we're going to head to camp. And we're going to make some dinner. Monty, what just happened? Did you just get a butt bath? Did you just get a butt bath? <laughs> Monty, did you get a butt bath? Uh, yeah, Monty just, uh, I just looked at his butt and it was gross. It was full of poop. And he didn't get anything other than a couple pieces of beef jerky, but he did get his Sentinel today, which is oral medication, and it must have gave him the poops. So... Hope he doesn't do that in the tent, but I had to wash it. Mr. Dirty Butt Monty. Monty, are you ashamed of yourself with your dirty butt? He's like, no. I couldn't help it, Dad. I'm sorry. It's okay, Monty. It's okay, Mr. Stinky Butt. Stinky Butt Poop Stink. Alright, so we're just gonna, I'm just gonna get camp set up a little bit my tent, some of my sleeping stuff, and uh, then we're gonna get preparing dinner. So I'm just gonna set up a few things, get the get the tent tidied up a little bit. That's what I need to do first. I want some water for us. nothing. I just uh, like to keep him on his toes a little bit, you know? <laughs> Hungry, Monty? You want some food, buddy? Nah, you probably don't want this crap. I want to pour you a big old bowl. Ugh, let me get some water. There's the culprit. Tommy the Toad. Hey buddy. How's it going? Are you just living life right now? He's probably pooping himself. <laughs> uh. We're gonna get preparing dinner, or I'm gonna get preparing dinner because I've only got one stove. I've gotta cook Monty's sweet potato and fish first. Then I'm gonna cook my stuff. And then uh, my or my potatoes and then my fish. My fish is last. So I've gotta get cooking. Or I'm gonna be up till uh midnight okay let's get out our pans and stuff here let's start with mr monty's sweet potato sweet potatoes are tough they're tough i gotta i gotta sit over here
So now I gotta cut up my potatoes. I'm having two potatoes. All these cut so much easier than the <laughs> the sweet potato. All that frog, that toad's coming by <laughs> my tent. I'm feeling extra hungry tonight, so I'm thinking I'm going to eat this entire onion. <laughs> I know that sounds pretty crazy, but I'm going to cook some up with my fish. A lot with my potatoes. So let's just, let's get crazy with it. that can be for fish. We always got to do garlic. I'm not going to cut it up super crazy, just a little bit a little bit smaller chunks. But nothing nothing super small. Just a little small. I still like that nice bite of garlic, you know? Nice chunk of garlic, garlicky garlic. That's good. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna add a good chunk of that to the potatoes and onions. Ooh, it's gonna be so good. Okay. Now I need to add butter to both of these. My very melty butter. It was so warm today. We're just gonna go like that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Keep more butter if we need it, but it's real melty. Got my little stove here. I love this little thing. This little alcohol burning stove. Reliable little thing. Okay, now that uh, Monty's food is going to be cooking, I'm going to go fillet up some fish quick. Now I'm not going to show it because YouTube's got weird policies and stuff, so I'm just going to go fillet it up and bring back the fillets. Fish is all filleted up. Looking, looking beautiful. Oh, it's gonna be so good. Mm-hmm. Okay, time to add Monty's fish in here. Oh, 
looking at that juice. Now I wanted to cook up the whole fish as is, but I'm really lazy right now. That's not gonna happen. It's uh it's too big. Oh, it's almost done. Oh, Monty's gonna love this. Fish and sweet potatoes. It's like a heavenly dog meal. You know, it is done, it's all flaking apart. All right, Monty's is done. Taking that off there. I just filled up the fuel too. It ran out, so now we gotta cook potatoes and onions and garlic. That looks like a good dog meal to me. I would totally eat that. Mm-hmm. I almost forgot to season up the uh, potatoes and onions. A little Montreal in there. There we go. Much better. All right, we need to add a little bit more butter. get a little too sticky. It's looking like it's almost done too. Alright, let's taste the potato and test it. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's done. It's now time to cook the main course. So we're going to add this on this hot pan here. I'm gonna add a little bit of water, just a smidge, and then we're gonna add our garlic and onions. And some butter. Good chunk of butter. We're gonna we're gonna cook this up a little bit. We're trying to make a little bit of a sauce, kind of. Then we're going to throw in our fish. Okay. Now, we're going to add our fish, which doesn't fit. <laughs> it's, it's too big. Uh... Well, looks like I'm gonna have to cut off a portion. There we go. All right. We're gonna add in lemon juice. Get this stuff out of here. That's gonna be so good. Adding our other couple fillets of fish. Oh, that's gonna be so delicious. I'm getting super excited. We're gonna sprinkle a little Montreal on here. Oh yeah. Let's flip it over and see what we're looking at. Ooh, it's cooking. It's cooking oh yeah that's gonna be so good this lemony garlicky onion Montreal deliciousness oh 
It's gonna be delicious. I'm so excited to eat. Mmm. This is looking so good. This part in the center is a little, needs to get over in this hot spot. This is, that's done. That's done too. Put this over. Oh man. A little bit more Montreal in here, but let me tell you what, this is looking so good. This is gonna be delicious, oh man. All right, that's done. It's time to eat. I'm calling it good. Ooh, hoo, hoo. all right. I'm so excited to try this. This looks so good. It's like just caramely, buttery, just lemony goodness. You ready, Monty? All right, go ahead. Let's try a nice big. Mmm. Oh, that's so good. Mmm. We get a little onion in there. Mmm. Mm hmm. Oh, it's just perfect. Mmm. Let's try a nice big, big old bite of bluegill. Mmm. Hot. Hot. Ooh. Gotta try these potatoes. Mmm. <sighs> this is so good right now. I'll be honest. No, it wasn't the smartest thing, but I did not eat much today. I ate some snacks. There's just some a little food at the house. And then uh nothing. I didn't eat any of my my uh granola bars I brought. I, I ate the last I, the last thing I ate was before like two one or two and uh, I didn't eat any granola bars or anything I didn't drink any water until I got to camp and this is the first thing I'm eating <laughs> not the best idea but um mm. tell you what it makes uh Forking off a big old slab. Oh, I've got, I got, I got some rib bones in there. Makes forking off a slab of fish like that so much better. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, it's so good. It's so good.
It's gonna be hard to see, but some people don't like the skin. Um. Doesn't bother me. Doesn't bother me one bit. I don't like the fins. Those I won't eat. That's all that's left. Bones. Bones. I'm gonna I gotta make room for this in here. So we gotta clean up. No. That was my first time. This is my first time making fish like that in the woods. I usually use tin foil. I don't just cook it in the pan with the lemon and butter. But that was so much better than the tin foil. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. Um, tin foil is great. Don't get me wrong. Um, but it's a pain in the ass to check that was very easy because you could just watch it and I was able to you know like caramelize the onions butter and lemon that was so good don't you worry for him he already had loose poops He can't be getting too much stuff. Sweet potato. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure it was the medicine that did it. Because he didn't get anything. Besides his normal food. And he, Monty's not the type of dog that goes into the trash or anything. He's a good boy. He'll beg. But. I'm surprised we didn't hear the owl again. We heard him out on the lake. Right over here. But, I haven't heard him again. And owls don't care if they're being loud. They're not going to get spooked or anything. Owls don't give a shit about you. <laughs> Maybe they do, but in my experience, I've been loud and the owls will still do their thing. They don't care. There's toads everywhere, Monty. It's just, there's just a toad in our tent. See him? See him? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> don't do that. You tilted your head to my fart. Oh. That was a satisfying meal. I'm getting pretty full. Come on, you just mean like when I farted? <laughs> Hmm. Yeah. All right. That was so good. Now I've got to clean up. Looks good. Nice looking butt. Is that what you want? You wanna go in the tent? You wanna go to bed? In the tent? You wanna go in the bed? Alright, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go in the tent. Go ahead. Go ahead, Monty. Go ahead. Let's go. Go on. Go on, Monty. Go ahead. Oh, you're going on my spot, huh? I'm probably fairly out of focus. It's probably pretty dark. The, uh, the light that I attached to my camera, the batteries got just sucked dry today. It's weird they're brand new and they just did not last very long. <sighs> We're just relaxing. 
I'm probably, I'm going to probably read a little bit of the book. But, uh, I blew up a sleeping pad for Monty. <laughs> he just did not want to lay on it. I think he's warm. It's very warm right now. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to use my sleeping bag. But, uh, yeah, he just was, like, standing around, and he just kept staring at me, and then I took it away, and he laid right down, so. I don't think he wanted it, but, man, we caught a lot of fish today. Ate some delicious food. I'm thinking I'm just going to look at my Boundary Waters map just a little bit and uh, plan a trip. I'm not going to show you guys. I don't want to give away any spoilers, but we're going to listen to the toads and stuff crawl around our tent. They're they're freaking him out. They're just like, he's just like, Arr, Arr. he's getting all ants in his pants. But yeah, read a book and relax. It's pretty late. It's uh quarter after midnight. <laughs> That's what happens when you night fish. Uh, if you you know the sun sets at like what like nine twenty or something, and then the twilight after that is to like ten, and then you start cooking. You start preparing food at like ten. You're cooking by ten thirty. There's a toad going right under the edge of the tent. <laughs> but yeah, then you're, you know, you're eating by 1130 or whatever, and yeah, midnight. So, I'm pretty tired. I don't think I'm going to last long looking through stuff or reading. I don't even know if I'll do any of that. I actually just might just go to bed. But whatever I do, I am going to bed after that, so... I'm going to catch you guys in the morning. Good night, everybody. Monty, are you saying you want to go out the tent? Do you want to go? Do you want to treat? <laughs> You're so cute, Monty. All right, Monty, I'll give you freedom, okay? All right, go ahead. Go ahead, go, Monty. Go. I'm going to sit here for another minute. <sighs> Good morning. Ugh. I was fully expecting to go fishing this morning and get up early. But since, like, 5, the wind's just been blowing pretty good <laughs> I did fishing I did such good fishing yesterday I did not want to go blow around in my canoe I'll fish on the way out but this was not something to wake up for and it was so peaceful just laying here oh. but it's time to get up and make some breakfast and some oatmeal or coffee so I can speak and then oatmeal. <laughs> it's breezy this morning. So I didn't bring my tongs. I guess that I have this one cook set where we lost the tongs, and I must have grabbed that one for these this cook this bowl. So it's gonna be fun.
this is going to be interesting. I don't want to burn them. There we go. Singe, nothing crazy. Is that right stick? There's only a little bit of fuel in there, I'm just going to let it burn out. Got some apples and cinnamon oatmeal today. Mm mm. Tis the oatmeal season. Might be a little too much food, but I'm on a big old oatmeal breakfast. Soupiest oatmeal. Oh man. <laughs> Oops. Oops, a daisy. Oh well. It'll still be good. It's a black fly dance. Uh, hey, Monty. Man, even with this wind, they're still just. things because he got potatoes and fish yesterday that he gets oatmeal today. No. No, 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 no. So yeah, I'm going to basically finish up my oatmeal here. I'm pretty much all packed up. And then uh, we got to blow, go straight to the other side. We're going to take a few casts in the calm spot, just a few. Nothing crazy, but I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can catch a fish before I get out of here. I'd like to catch one more fish. Just one more. But I'm not gonna try too hard. If I don't catch anything, that's okay. I'm not gonna put my heart into it. I'm just gonna switch to GoPro, do some fishing and paddling on our way back. We just gotta go back the way we came to get out. You want this, Monty? You want this? Say it. Sit pretty. Sit pretty. Monty, sit pretty. Good boy, you're still not getting any. Alright, yeah, so 
so I'm gonna finish this up, sip of my coffee, and then we're gonna get in the boat and get moving. Oh, Mr. Monty. There we go. There you go, Monty. Yeah. We're away from the bugs. That's a good boy. All right, so, like I said, we're not gonna fish too crazy, but uh, we're definitely gonna take a few casts on that shore that the wind's coming from. So we'll be back in the black flies for just a little bit probably let them eat me alive for five minutes and then I'll give up and want to just head back into the wind but we'll see you never know if I get a bite right away though that's my issue if I <laughs> if I get a bite I'm gonna be like oh well if you get a bite you can get a fish they're definitely not active like they were last night okay the bugs are getting me and uh, the trout are not active right now, so. They're probably not on the shallows, they're probably deeper. I'm not gonna fish for them. If they're uh, not gonna just bite like crazy like they were. We're gonna move on to the next lake and I'll take a few casts on that one before I go back and see if we can pick up a bass. I knew I'd catch one. <laughs> I couldn't, uh, I could not try any of this log, and I was like, yeah, you know, since I screwed up the log, I couldn't try one more cast. Oh. All right, Mr. Trout. Mr. Brook Trout, Miss Brook Trout. I think that's a missus. There we go. Now should we just keep fishing here all day? Last cast, the victory cast. Oh, wasn't the best cast. Oh well. Okay, that's that. That is gonna do it for today's video. I've just gotta do a little bit of a paddle. Not much at all, very, just over there. And then I got a porch, so that's going to do it. So as always, guys, if you like the video, hit the like button. If you want to see more stuff like this, hit that subscribe button, and I will catch you guys at the next video. Look as the Monty frolics through the fields. Monty, I'm right here. Monty, I'm over here. <laughs>
<laughs> you lost me, my DM, right here. <laughs> uh.